Three, two, one. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got a friend online, and his name is Devin, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name. How do you pronounce your last name, Devin? I'm not sure either. <laughs> we'll, we'll go for Zertman. Zertman? Yeah. Is that German? It's German, yeah. There were supposed German. to be two ends on it, though. They dropped off one end, and uh, nobody's ever really been able to tell me how to pronounce it. So They probably ran out of ink. Yeah. <laughs> Similar, my last, my last name is Goodham and it's Norwegian and sometimes people get it misspelled. They say Guidum because it used to be spelled G-U-I-D-I-U-M, I think. And yeah, it makes, when I look at it, I want to put the I after the U. <laughs> exactly. So that's yeah. why I go with Magic Brad. It's common and nobody knows I have to worry about it. So, so I don't do these too long because I know that people have this commodity of time, but uh, we want to sort of find out more about what your business is and and who you are and how you can help some of these uh, people that are looking to start businesses and franchises and things of that sort. Now, Absolutely. Are you, are you married and got kids and all that stuff? No, no, not yet. Not yet? Okay. No. Yeah, you're, you're a young whippersnapper. You got time. I didn't get married until right. I was 53, so. Sometimes somebody, you get married to your business too, you know. There's a lot of that. And, uh, well, well, that's a good segue into the business. Now, I understand that you're a sign company, and when I, I'm from the event industry, so when I think of signs, I think of signs like at an event, like Happy New Year or Happy Anniversary. Do you do that kind of sign? Yeah, those would be more like banners, you know, or temporary signage. Yeah. But looking at your website, I, it looks like you do considerably bigger display type signs for like businesses and storefronts and things like that. Yeah, I would say we're, we're more known for, our company is more known for doing like the more elaborate uh, illuminated exterior signs, the ones you'd see like along a, a highway or, you know, the ones that are actually on the, the front of like a building facade. So like, who uses that kind of sign? Is that like someone says, I'm going to open up a, a yoga studio and the strip mall that I am in, they said I can have a sign up there. Is that something that you would do then? If it's you know, Tiffany's yoga studio? Right. Yeah, it's typically, I mean, the way we look at it is uh, a business's sign is their handshake to the community. You know, it lets them know that they're there and uh, kind of tells them who they are. It's a, a big impression of their business. And is it, uh, are the signs like totally customized or is it uh, like just block letters or? I, typically this is just yeah. kind of a new thing to me I, I mean i drive down the road and i see signs all the time but now that we're actually talking about it it's interesting yeah it's kind of one of those things you don't think about yeah but it's everywhere they're typically i mean if it's a, a business um you know we're typically customizing it to like their logo you know what whatever we can make fit uh within their logo parameters in the do you actually parameters. build out the box and stuff like say somebody had like a a cowboy bar and they wanted some special picture of a cowboy on a horse you'd actually build that whole thing out customized to be a right yep. so it's a, typically they're they're illuminated too okay so you're a fabricator yep okay Fabricate I'm, I'm manufacturer. now my brother used to do some signs but he's just doing like vinyl signs and things like that and he's had people ask him about it and he didn't do it professionally because I know that, you know, that was important to talk to a professional that knows what's going on because he ran into situations where he does a sign for somebody and finds out that it was a sign that's perpendicular to the building and going out over the sidewalk and stuff. And you have to get permits and stuff for that, right? Right. In most cases you do, yeah. So you can't just, uh, as they used to say, throw up a shingle and start business. You got to get some, they talk to the city and. They say, nope, you're not going to have none of those signs. We want them all to be brown and white, and they all look the same. Or exactly, yeah. There's a there's a sign bond, so it's essentially you know like a, a contractor's license that a sign company that installs signs has to have. A sign bond. Yep, with a with a, a state. So typically, you know, oh. most most all fifty states uh, have their own like uh, sign bond license yeah. that they. Well, that's interesting. So it's really important to talk to someone like you that knows stuff like that. Because if I had a building and I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to put up my sign and it might. Right. Which happens a lot. 
it's uh, if they, they have a building inspector in the city and they see it, then, you know, typically uh, they'll give a fine for it. Or, right. Those are those guys that just drive around in a car and look for things wrong so they can give you a little citation yep. and get some money. That's exactly what they do. Yeah. So a franchisee would be wise to at least consult with you before they go and start throwing up their sign. <laughs> yeah. Typically corporate too might, might even, uh, you know, make sure that there's a licensed company installing their signage. Well, there's always that kind of thing that there's things if you don't know, it, you just bypass it. It's always good to talk to somebody that's been in those trenches that understands that kind of thing. Because there's no point in paying somebody to build a sign because they can do it and then having someone come out and put it up because they're looking for money and they're scalping doing you know, odd work. And then the city comes by and says, <clears throat> you have to take down that sign. You kidding me? It cost me $20,000 to put it up there. I'm sorry. You have to take it down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, Devin, I want to show your website. And I've never really done this before, but I'm going to try and share my screen. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen so we can take a peek see at your website. And I'm going to kind of scroll through it so people can see it and understand well, what it is that you do. So stand by here. There we go. I'm not sure what that looks like. Can you see the your your website now? Yeah, I can see it up there. Okay. Yeah. So there's We're a company. Up to like a corner. Electro signs, and then there's a. Okay, I see what you do. So, oh, McDonald's, the Golden Arches, and uh, so you've got all this equipment and stuff to be able to put these things in here, huh? Yeah, so lo locally, because we, we are a national sign company, um, but being based here, you know, we have a our strong local presence, and we do a lot of a uh, lot of our own installs. Where um, are you locally? With our own trucks. Where are you locally? Uh, we're headquartered in Blaine. All right there, Minnesota. Okay, that's good to know because it's always good to uh, like if you're in the local area, it's kind of good to meet the guy that's doing the work, right? Right. So here's another. Your gallery. I saw the Commerce. I know uh, Steve Commerce from Commerce Printing. He's probably from the same family. Yeah, possibly. I didn't, oh, wow. There's an Ace Hardware store going up right uh, in my neighborhood. I just saw a sign. I wonder if you guys are doing the sign for it. <laughs> possibly. Yeah, we, uh, we've done quite a few Ace Hardwares. Oh, very cool. Wow. Subways. Can't go wrong there. Cool. Well, I unshared my screen, so we're back. And again, Devin, I don't like to do these things too long because people have that commodity of time, but I want to give them the basic information about uh, your services and how you do it. Um, what type of people are you looking for to make signs for? What's the, what's the type of person? Like type of client? Yeah. Yeah, um, type of client would be you know, essentially we work with every business owner. Um, but, you know, we do a lot for franchisees. We're corporate approved through a various and variety of different uh, franchise corporations. So um, Subway is actually a big one that we do work for already. Um, we've done work for Subway pretty much since its inception in this area. And uh, we do a lot of work for uh, other franchisees more on just uh, maintenance side as well, maintaining the signs, uh, you know, repairs and maintain the lighting components. Okay. Okay. So you basically, you do the manufacture of it. You do the installation of it and you do the repair of it. And what else? That's, that's pretty much that's it. That's pretty much it. Besides permitting, there's, there's that permitting aspect that we talked about. Yeah, that's all. I think that's one of the Which most can, can be a big deal. It definitely can be a big deal. I mean, like if someone just bought a franchise or they're thinking about buying a franchise, it might be a good idea to find out if how that franchise goes about the installation and maintenance and, and all that kind of thing before even getting involved with the franchise, maybe. Exactly. Cool. Well, how do we get a hold of you? I forgot. Let's see. Your website is it's electrosign.com. Electrosigndesign.com. It's our website. Electrosigndesign.com. Yep. Electro our main Sign office line is our main office line is 763-785-7968. And uh, that's essentially routed to somebody all the time. 
24 hours. Uh, almost 24 hours, yeah. I suppose you got to get that kind of stuff sometimes, maybe. Someone says, we need someone to come out here and fix this. Yeah, we get emergency repairs quite often. Wow. Education. Now I know these things. <laughs> okay, Devin, I'm going to cut this off and then uh, beam it up to the universe, and uh, we're going to share this with some people. If they want to know more about it, they can contact you direct. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time. And if you want, we can get on a call and uh, have some some post conversation about the whole situation. Sounds good. Okay. I appreciate Thanks. it. Peace. Thanks, Brad.